Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. Well, I have a little bonus episode for today. You should definitely check out the video that I released just about an hour ago, and that was all about getting Master Core to work on a PlayStation 4 10.01. Well, today I'm going to talk about just the PlayStation 5. So a couple of very quick updates. The very first one is, is that for the PS5 IPv6, Kernel Exploit was updated to version 1.03 today. And it says it adds support for relative relocation and then it fixes various minor bugs, typos, thanks to John Tornblum. So if we go back to the main repository and we go into the commits, well, here is what we can see has really happened in like the last day. So a pull request from John and then add support for relative relocations. Now, another thing that we got today from our friend Sistro is, is that there was this new repository created that says PS5 versions 1.0. So it says shows some version infos of your console and it works with WebKit as well as BD exploit. So if we go over here to the releases and we scroll down a bit, you'll want to download this file if you want to try this out on your own. Okay, so let's give this a shot on a PS5 3.20 in this instance. But now at this point, it does say that we are waiting for an L file. So I'm going to go ahead and send that over via Netcat GUI. Okay, so once this pops, we can see we have a kernel version of 3.20, and that would be correct because I am on a 3.20 system. And then there is the PS4 SDK version and then just an SDK version. So not a lot to be shown right now, but still pretty cool. All right, I will see you on the next one. Michael, out! <laughs>